Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective pick a card for who is sending you the evil eye. Today we have three piles, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Pile one is the cat's eye bracelet, very beautiful. Pile two is the rose quartz bracelet, which I think is really cool because it has like a lighter rose quartz here, like almost like clear quartz, but it's not. And then pile three is rainbow jasper, which I think looks like a watermelon strawberry to me, <laughs> or kiwi. I don't know. This reminds me of fruit. Maybe you guys like fruit, pile three. But anyways, these are the three piles. Choose a pile you are drawn to the most. We're going to get started with pile number one. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. Just want to say that and put that out there. But thank you so much, you guys. We're going to get started with pile one. Hey, pile one. If you chose this pile with the cat's eye bracelet, which I'm going to put on, this is your reading. And who is sending you the evil eye? The first card is Dan in Spiritual Learning Ascension, number 13. This is a beautiful card, you guys. I really love it. Lots of purple, all the beautiful colors here. I feel like this is your energy, pal one. People are jealous of how beautiful you are. Your voice, the way you express yourself. You're a healer. You are just very beautiful, pal one. You bring a lot of peaceful energy. You are like an angel. You see orbs. You see light. You are learning how to understand your gifts and how to share them with others. It's like you share these messages to everyone. You're surrounded by beautiful energy, Pal One, and people send you the evil eye. They're jealous of your beauty is what I'm getting. They're also jealous because you're intelligent. You're a teacher of some sort. With spiritual learning, it's like people have seen you grow, evolve, like you're doing better and they're watching you and they're like, what the fuck, Pal One? How did Pal One get so good? How is Pal One so beautiful? How is Pal One so gifted? Since when does Pal One talk? Since when does Pal One have a personality? It's like, what the hell? But <laughs> they're jealous that you have come out of your shell, 111. Very intuitive. Yeah, with the star, you've gone through a glow up, Pal One, Aquarius energy. You guys could be star seeds. You're just gorgeous, Pal One. And even if you guys are not have like societal, like beautiful model with like the perfect body that doesn't really exist, in my opinion, you love yourself. You guys could be Venusian, Taurus, Libra energy, because I'm seeing you as very beautiful. You guys are just beautiful. That's all I keep getting. I'm like, you're fucking beautiful. <laughs> Pal One, you're gorgeous. And yeah, I like it with the King of Cups. People are sending you the evil eye because you have a lot of suitors, guy or girl. You have people interested in you. And people are like, what the hell? Like, why are they so cute? Why, are, why do people like them? Like, ugh. People are stressed out because they want to look like you. They want to be beautiful like you. Or they are very intimidated by your looks, Pal One. And But what Pal One haters don't understand is that they're, everyone is beautiful in their own way. But this is just like, for some reason... They're just being a hater. They're sending you the evil eye because you're gorgeous. And they're also sending you the evil eye because you're intelligent. You're a teacher. You're in the spotlight. You have gone through some type of a glow up pile one. And that's why people send you the evil eye. You have maintained your peace of mind. Nothing is shaking you or breaking you, pile one. You are just surrounded by this peaceful energy of harmony and good energy. You're just a lot of pink is what I'm seeing for you, pile one, which is the energy of love. You also have a masculine energy who is upset that they don't have you anymore because you walked away from them, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And they see you doing amazing without them. So you may have an ex that is no longer in your life and they see you doing great. And they're like, well, goddamn, about <laughs> one, why are you doing so great? Why do you look hot? Why? How do you look so sexy all of a sudden? It's like they didn't realize what they had until you were gone. Yeah, with the magician, Gemini. And their hands are up like, what the hell? Like, I want to manifest them back now. So you have people sending you the evil eye because they want you back. And then you have people sending you the evil eye of the same sex because they think you are very beautiful and they're jealous of your looks. And they see that a lot of people are very sexually attracted to you, whether you are aware of this or not. People talk behind your back about, oh my God, did you know so-and-so likes Pal One? Or, oh my God, did you see what Pal One was wearing? They're so cute. And Pal One's haters are like, oh my God, why do they like Pal One? They're just jealous because you're beautiful. I'm hearing that song. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. So Pal One, you have haters because you're gorgeous. I have goosebumps everywhere. Three, four, five. But what Pal One's haters do not understand is that Pal One has put in the work mentally spiritually energetically mind body and spirit in every way shape and form you guys are beautiful manifestors you are healers and with the hands up it's like well what do you want me to do like i don't know like let's just <laughs> i'm blessed i'm just lucky i guess you know about one they think you're lucky and you got some haters that are trying to be like you and they cannot so envy 
is not a great thing to do, to have, or to, you know, project onto people. Um, hearing misery, loving company, you don't want to be around negative energies, and you're just, you're in this beautiful. Like, just take in the colors of this card, it's gorgeous. That is you. Transformation. With 13, I'm getting the Death Scorpio card, so you guys have gone through a transformation, but because of that negative experience, you have gone through a globe, you're beautiful, you're shining bright like a diamond, people are just jealous because you're amazing, pal one. Haters gonna hate, 444. Angel number, you just have haters. <laughs> But you guys are gorgeous and continue to heal, protect your space. Pow one, if you got evil eye energies on you, wear evil eye protection. Do a spiritual bath cleanse. You can email me, moonlightshadows1111 at gmail. I'm more than happy to give you guys some guidance and advice. Um, I do see, though, that you guys are protected and you are very shielded. And people are just mad they can't they can't get to you, pow one. Because with the cat's eye, you're very intuitive, right? Very gifted, very magical. So that's what I have for you, pow one, on who is sending you the evil eye. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. If you want to see a different pick of card, comment that down below as well, and I will add it to my list. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. We're going to get into pile number two. All right, pile two. If you chose this beautiful pink rose quartz bracelet, this is your reading. All right. So your first card, pile two, who is sending you the evil eye? I heard abracadabra. I heard Cinderella. I'm hearing the song, people are sending you the evil eye, they hate you, look at how this woman, she's pissed, you guys, five, 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 oh my god, someone is mad that you're getting your way, you're getting your wish, they're upset, they're pissed, look at this, her freaking stare is like, oh, it gives me like the goosebumps, bro, <laughs> they're so mad, they want to be you and they can't be you. Wilderness, wild woman, wildling. This person is green with envy, full of rage. Her crown chakra is blocked. She is losing her light because of the negative energy that she is sending to you. And because of that, she is blocking her own blessings. This could be a feminine energy, but this person is very hateful. And they watch you from the side and they don't like you. And I just saw the spider here on this um, macabre tarot deck that I have. So this person is trying to cause um, confusion. This could be a mother figure. Or this is your energy. You guys could be moms is what I'm getting. Taurus, Libra energy. With the Knight of Pentacles, this person is sending you the evil eye because they want to slow down your blessings. They are jealous. With the Three of Wands, this person could be at a distance or waits for you to be around them to send you negative ill will and intentions. With the hermit, this person is doing this in secret, or they think that you don't know, but you do know. Seven eleven. I feel like you have forgiven this person, or you forgive any you forgive anyone who tries to send you anything negative. But this person is secretly trying to cause a delay in your financial success. With the four of swords, um, you could be dreaming about this person, or you are receiving messages in your dreams about someone. But the way I see this person sending you negative energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Virgo. I'm really seeing all the signs, you guys. I don't have anything specific on signs, but I do see a hateful feminine energy sending you daggers to cause a delay in your abundance, but it's not going to happen because these swords are not in you. You are peacefully sleeping, and with the Ace of Swords, you have divine protection. So no one and nothing is going to harm you. This person is just... I'm hearing they can't sleep at night at the thought of you being more successful than them. This person is very competitive. Taurus, Virgo... Libra is what I'm hearing, and Capricorn. So Earth energy, but with the scales of Libra justice, I feel balances being restored. This person is just angry. It's like they don't even talk to you very much, but they don't like that you're doing well. Maybe this person competes with you and you don't even know they're competing with you because you could care less. I was about to end the reading and I forgot there's one more card. Yeah, with the tower. This person is trying to cause disruption to your financial success. Let me clarify the tower for you, pile two. Pile 2, Angels, Guides, Positive Energies, The Tower for Pile 2, who's sending them the evil eye. Thank you very much. With the World card, the negative energy that they sent will not be successful. For some of you guys have Santa Muerte La Blanca, shielding you and protecting you, Pile 2. From, oh, some, okay, what's the Hermit? Clarify the Hermit for Pile 2, who's sending them the evil eye. The Hermit is Virgo energy. This is you or them. With the page of swords someone is watching you and is jealous that you have success with your business or that you are making money with the page nightmare of bones this person could be two-faced 
they speak negative things towards you, but you already know when the energy is negative and you're protected. Even if you're not 100% sure, you have an ancestor protecting you from someone who is jealous. I'm hearing Papa Legba is also allowing the road to be cleared. The path is being cleared for you. Yeah, with the six of wands so that you can move forward. Your spiritual team protects you from whoever this is in secret that is trying to cause disruption. Whoever in secret is trying to cause disruption to you, they can't. They can't take what's yours. They can't block your blessings because your blessings are yours and not theirs. Yeah. The massacre of daggers and the seven of bones. This person is trying to harm you. This person stabs you in the back or they talk negatively about you. But the divine is here. Divine intervention. Wear an evil eye pendant on your chest pile too because this person is attacking your heart space. So that's what I have for you. I send you many blessings. Thank you for watching. 1010. Whatever they send is going to go back. So thank you for watching, pal. Too please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if this helps you. If you want a personal reading, Moonlight Shadows 1111 at gmail.com. If you want to see a different type of a card, let me know what you would like to see in the comment section below, and I will add it to my list. All right, pal. Two, thank you so much. We're going to get to pile number three. Okay, pile three. This is your reading. If you chose, I was going to say strawberry. <laughs> Um, what is this called? Rainbow Jasper. Sorry. If you chose Rainbow Jasper, this is your reading. Maybe you guys like strawberries. I don't know why I keep getting fruit. I heard forbidden fruit. Oh, that's why you got the strawberry. Or that's why I said strawberry. Like how beautiful this woman is. You guys are beautiful. You guys were a high priestess in another lifetime. Very Cleopatra-ish. Nefertiti Isis. You guys are hot. I'm hearing hot like a sauna. You guys are beautiful. The sun, good fortune, and happiness. That's why people hate you. <laughs> You're a lucky charm, pile three. You're gorgeous. 11-11. Oh, my God. I want to hug you guys. I don't even know who you are. Everybody loves you. Oh, shit. Look at this. Not this bitch. <laughs> this bitch. Look at that. Holy shit. Okay, you guys. If you have a protection symbol that you're highly connected to, put it on your left hand. Because this bitch is trying to take your, your gifts, your sight hell no this person is also gifted this person wants to steal your crown this person acts like she's the queen bee and she's nothing you are you are divine do you see the different energies in the cards comment down below pile three if you chose pile three i'm hearing if you choose me so if you chose pile three this person is competing against you this person may also be gifted but this person acts like a bitch she power trips and look at this energy. Comment down below if you guys can see the differences between these two cards with the energies. Do you see how different the energy is? This is how you know if you're dealing with someone who's genuine, authentic, sincere, or if you're dealing with a karmic, psycho-ass bitch that's trying to hurt you. This is a genuine energy of love, a true healer that really just wants to help people. And this is a fucking psycho-ass bitch that's trying to power trip and take from you. Okay. 25 and 27, you guys could be similar in age range is what i'm getting um you are meant to be on your own but you are meant to be a leader this person is trying to steal from you i heard the haunting this person is trying to fuck with your intuition this person dresses a little bit trashy i'm sorry no offense to anyone but that's what i'm hearing i'm not like judging anyone but you show enough skin to be sensual sacral chakra sex magic for some of you but you use your gifts wisely you do not misuse your power you show enough skin to attract people's attention you're very graceful and sexy in a classy way this one literally has her titties hanging out because she has no rest of her bottom like she's half naked because she wants the attention because she is very insecure that's for somebody out there that's not gonna be for everybody i'm not saying if you're half naked that you're insecure i'm not trying to say that i'm just saying this particular energy that i'm picking up on that's why she dresses like this okay you will know if this is for you your pile pile three 1333 hope star and renewed person so this one is hopeful that she can be a star just like you so that she can have her sense of purpose again she is trying to drain your feminine energy when she looks at you she's trying to call that energy to herself but it's not going to happen she tripping why because you guys have oshun protecting you you have a protection bow here and what was i saying half naked and trashy but look at this classy do you see the difference in energies like it's just whoever made these cards like this is fucking awesome but anyways oshun is here 
connect with Oshun if you guys connect with her. She's here, 1414, and she's helping you. This person is trying to project. No, you guys do affirmations. This person is trying to steal your beauty. They can't do it. This person copies your makeup, your hair, your outfit. If you wear jewelry a certain way, they're going to start doing it too. This person just copies you. They really like your lips and they're trying to be like you. You have Oshun 35, sweet water, sensuality, and pleasure. So because you are so in love with yourself in a good way, this person is jealous that people love you is what I'm hearing. 1444 on the clock. Yep, with the Ace of Cups, everybody loves you. Everyone loves working with you. This could be a coworker, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Everyone loves working for you. Some of you guys are finding love at a workplace is what I'm getting. This is going to be your twin flame. This bitch knows it and she's upset. And with the world card, she can't do nothing about it. If you have a social media online platform and you're working hella hard, I'm, hear I'm hearing, I work hard for the money so you better treat her right or however the hell that song goes. You work hard. Do a reversal. If you've already done a reversal, it is working. With the full card, you have a new beginning. She is sending you the evil eye because she knows the truth that you are successful and she can't do shit. This person is mad that they cannot harm you. Oh, well. Sucks to suck. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. You guys have like ancestors or guides that are hilarious. My dog is up on my foot right now. And I feel like that's the message that your animals love you. Everyone loves you. And everyone loves you like a puppy, but like in a good way. Like, oh my God, Pile 3 is here. Hey, Pile 3. Oh, it's your birthday. Go show it. Like Pile 3, everyone celebrates. And this person is like, ah, why do they like Pile 3? Like this person is such a hater, but this person is not mentally stable, unfortunately. They could have some health issues here. With the guide, though, this person is trying to keep you stuck and they're doing spell work from a book or TikTok. Hello, use your intuition. It's not going to work. Anyways, this person's going to be stuck. Four of Wands, again, so this person is upset that you have stability, you have a business, and they want to be like you. They watch you and they're trying to learn from you. They could pretend to be your friend, but on the inside, they're wanting to steal your light. Wear Pyrite or Citrine Pile 3 and wear a Pendant is what I'm hearing as well. Um, do a Rune of Protection on your hand is what I'm seeing because this person has gotten some readings on you and they know you're successful and they want your blessings. They can't have it. With the Massacre of Bones and the Chariot, this is the Queen of Wands. You are the Queen of Wands. You are the crowned Queen Bee. You see in the dark in every way, shape, and form. Your eyes are in the dark. You see everything. And this person knows that they can't fuck with you. They know you know, even though you guys don't talk about it. But with the Ten of Cups, your whole spiritual team is protecting you. Work with Lilith as well. Oshun showed up. Hail Oshun. I don't think you say hail Oshun. But thank you. Gratitude to you, Oshun, with all due respect. Ashe is what I'm hearing. So, you guys also need to do an evil eye egg cleanse. Her eye looks a little bit off there. So do an evil eye egg cleanse, you guys. If you need some help with that, you can email me, moonlightshadows1111 at gmail.com. This hateful person is watching you 24-7 because she's just jealous. That's really all it is. So do an evil eye egg cleanse. Do a salt bath. Um, cleanse your space. Do not leave your hair anywhere around this person. If your hair, for some reason, let's say like you run your fingers through your hair and a strand falls out, don't throw it on the ground if you know this person is around you. Get that hair and keep it with you. Throw it away elsewhere is what I'm hearing because this person will try to take your hair from you, okay? So that is a very specific side message for someone. If this reading is for you and it resonates, do not leave your hair around um, because this person is going to try to do magic and they cannot. Okay, so let's see. Any other advice from Spirit? The Magician, yes, you definitely need to do some spell work. Call back your energy, Pile 3. Yep, and you will heal. So, you need to do some spell work. You could work with Herkimer Diamond as well. And the Divine is here protecting you from the evil eye. Yep, and that's damn truth, Ace of Swords. You guys are protected. You are spiritually stronger because your spiritual team is stronger because you work out of the energy of light. You are a healer, 1818. This person can't fuck with you. So that is what I have for you. Do a protection rune on your hand or wear the pendant, Herkimer diamond, or um, any other type of protection that you feel you need. But definitely do an evil eye egg cleanse because this person is just a hater. If they watch you on social media, they're sending you negative energy through like your online platforms or in person. So that's what I have for you. I send you many blessings. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you like this reading, if it resonates for you. If you want to see something different, let me know what you want to see. And thank you so much. I really do appreciate you supporting my channel. So much love and light to you. Bye, guys.